Hi, everyone. I'm excited to announce that we have a new user experience for allowing you to connect to Azure Database for MySQL with Power BI from within Azure Portal. So let's kind of get through some of the details about it. Now, everyone knows what Power BI Desktop is. It's one of the best tools that you can use to uh, analyze your data that is stored in your databases. And you can build insights out of that analysis that helps you understand what your business is doing, what's the current state of things, what's the future state of things that you want it to be, and predict what needs to be done in order to move some of the KPIs that you need for your business. Let me take you through a customer scenario in terms of how you would build out an end-to-end -end database, um, an analytical pipeline that allows you to extract all the data from Azure Database for MySQL, where your product data or your application data is being stored. Now, this data can eventually be sent out to Azure Storage, Azure Synapse, Azure Data Factory. These are some of the different services that are available and works very well with Azure Database for MySQL to be able to build out an ETL pipeline. And this data can in turn be ingested into any analytical services, especially the Azure Analysis Services, and that in turn can be consumed by Power BI to build out all the visualizations that you need that you can share with all the different people within your team or within your organization. Before we go ahead with the demo, there are a few things you need to get started with is you need to set up your environment. Make sure you download and install your Power BI desktop tool if you don't have it already. Make sure you install MySQL.NET connector as well. This allows the MySQL database connector within Power BI Desktop to connect to any MySQL database. Download the SSL certificate if your Azure database for MySQL is using SSL. Make sure you install the SSL certificate in your Trusted Root Certificate Store. Check out the tutorial we have, which is ak.ms MySQL Power BI tutorial. This has all the details that you need to be able to set up your environment. Now let's get started with a demo. First, log into the Azure portal. And once you log into the Azure portal, go to your Azure database for MySQL flexible server. Within this, in your left-hand navigation menu, you will find the Power BI setting. It does give you a prerequisite list of things that you need to do. This is required to basically set up your environment as we talked about in the previous slides. Go ahead and select your database. You can see I have quite a few databases out here. Click on Get Started. You can see that this downloads a file. The PBIDS file is nothing but a simple Power BI file that allows you to open this particular connection within Power BI. Now that you've opened the connection in Power BI, make sure that you're using the database authentication method since Windows authentication is not supported in Azure Database for MySQL. You need to provide your username, password, click on Connect. They should show you the list of tables within this database. Let's select the customer's table and let's load that into Power BI. So as you saw, it showed 122 rows were loaded into Power BI. Now you can quickly start building out different views. Say if I want to know the number of customers that are there. So I can quickly create a simple summary card. In the summary card, I can look at the total number of customers that are there. And you can see it's showing 122 customers here. Now you can also add a pie chart. Say if you want to know the number of customers are coming from which country. So you can choose country on one side. What's the customer count as well? They should give you a view of the number of customers coming from the different regions. Now, let's see if we want to kind of look at how many sales reps are actually working with a lot of these customers. So let's create another card. So there are a total number of 16 sales reps that you have in your company that are working with 122 customers. So this was a simple view on how you can use some of the data in Azure Database for MySQL within Power BI and build out all the insights that you need for your business needs. Thanks for watching the demo. You can check out our tutorial. Feel free to reach out to us on the email address provided here for any feedback or questions you may have. Stay tuned for any updates and announcements on social media through our YouTube or Twitter or LinkedIn accounts mentioned here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Looking forward to hearing your feedback.